They give it to Gray. And Gray is short. And the ball comes loose, and the Bulls have it. And that is number six. Kayvon Webster with no one in front of him. You talk about a deflator. Now that's going to be an interesting play to take a look at up in the booth. See when, when and where this football comes out. Because what a game changer, Dan, as you just said. Jonas Gray. This is their big back, 230 pounds. He drops his pad level right there now. The ball gets ripped out, and I believe he's still up. If a whistle didn't blow, that's a touchdown, folks. There's another angle. Now he stopped there, and the ball's not out. But if the whistle didn't blow, he's certainly up. The ball's loose. South Florida very alertly is lined up for an extra point, and Notre Dame, and I think we're going to get a booth review. Here's a good look right here. The ruling on the field is that there was a fumble. The play is under further review. Wow. You want to talk about a game changer. Okay, there's the hit by Jarrell Young up top. He's the one that rips it away right here. Jarrell Young, the safety. There's the rip. There's no question he's up, and if a whistle did not blow, in my opinion, that is a legal play and a touchdown for South Florida. So taking a look at a 96-yard touchdown return by Kayvon Webster. And Notre Dame couldn't dominate a drive more than they just did in the air and on the ground. You get in a third and less than a foot situation. You put your big back in, and he puts it on the ground. I know Brian Kelly a little bit. Jonas Gray might not see the light of day for the rest of the season after that one. After okay. further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Touchdown. You can't put the football on the ground ever, let alone in that situation. And you can't quiet more than 80,000 quicker than that. 